With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. With the three-class basketball system beginning next year, this is the final time for the current eight-region qualifying process for the B. It's really a big 64-team tournament to determine a state champion. Now, the field was cut to 32 teams last night. In Region 7, the top four seeds all advanced. Hazen is hosting this event, and the Bison are the four seed. Tonight, the Bison face top-seeded Bowman County, with Talon Badke and Tyson Wick leading the way. We just have a great team, and I know we have a couple guys who score a lot of points, but we have a lot of guys who are willing to give up the ball to get them, and they're willing to give it right back to when they can find the openings. But I think it comes right down to our defense and willing to, what they're willing to do, and we just move the ball. When we move the ball, reverse the ball, we're playing well. And when we get the ball up and down the court, we play well. So that comes from our defensive end. We are always seem like we're the smaller team, but we play big a lot of times. Beulah is the two seed, and the Miners face number three Trinity tonight. Jeremy Brandt's team only allowed 29 points to Hart River, and he's after that type of defensive effort again. There's going to be nights when the ball's not going to go in the basket, and our defensively we have to be engaged and spot on every night. And and I think our, our you know you saw our guys at least tonight to really took it to heart, and that was definitely a strength of ours was just that. Again, I just thought it led to some good things off on the offensive end for us as well. But if we can play that hard every night defensively, it's going to make up for some of those warts maybe that aren't going so well on the offensive end. The Region 7 tournament is going on in Hazen. Now the matchups in Region 5 tonight, Shiloh and Washburn, they're playing right now, followed by the Troopers and Bulldogs. In Region 3, it's Medina PB against Linton HMB and EKM facing Ellendale. The West Region champion Legacy Hockey Team has a trio of players on the All-State team. Tyler Miller, Jamison Johnson, and Marcus Butts are All-State and each one of the positions for the Sabres. Mandan's Matthew Heider and Maxon Vig of Century are the other local athletes on the coaches list. Dave Richmond and the Bison men's basketball team play for the championship of the Summit League tonight in Sioux Falls. North Dakota State will be the underdog. The Bison take on top-seeded Oral Roberts. NDSU beat the second-seeded Jackrabbits in the semifinals last night. Bismarck State's Sidney Gustafson is the most valuable player in the Mondak Conference. The sophomore from Mandan scored over 20 points a game. She also pulled down 7.5 rebounds with 3 assists and 2.5 and steals per game. Her Mystics teammate Ashton Kinnebrew joined Sid on the first team. United Tribes has a pair of players on the Mondak second team. On the men's side, the Thunderbirds' famous left hand is a first team performer in the Mondak. The Mystics' Deontay Martinez along with Jesse White of United Tribes were named to the second team. You Mary's Victoria Marillo will compete in the in four freestyle races at the upcoming Division II National Swim Meet. She has qualified in the 1,000, the 200, the 500, and the 1650. The National Meet is in Indianapolis. She's fun to watch. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back.